from work. Oh man, a little afternoon snack, still recovering from a, just got interrupted there. All right, thank you yesterday for the comments and ideas for uh, helping get over this little cold I'm getting through. I don't know if chocolate is on that to-do list as far as things to eat as you're getting better, but uh, I'm craving some chocolate, so I'm gonna eat it. Hope that's all right. Sea salt caramel. Mm-hmm. Don't mind if I do. More Coke. <laughs> Angie, thank you for your comment a couple days ago about how, uh, warning me about how soda, or as we say in the West, pop, can dehydrate you. And I would agree with that because it's got a lot of sugar, and I feel like sugar... A lot of sugar can dehydrate you. I don't know quite how it works, but during a long run, especially at altitude, um, sometimes you literally need a sugar rush to get through a last, you know, five miles or up a. It's just it's really interesting. So a lot of ultra runners use Coke as like a stimulant. And uh, speaking of a runner, runner just ran by me. So anyway, that's why I drink Coke on my long runs, especially. Just so you know, just so you know. But thank you for the comment. Appreciate it, Angie, appreciate it. Mama got the boys new water bottles. They are gonna flip out when they get home. They love their water bottles. It's so funny. Their cups, they're very particular about their drinking utensils. Or should I say vessels. Yeah. Joseph, what do you think of your new water bottle? And, and look, at how, look at how it does a leak with this glass over it. Isn't it so cool? And look, this is actually a pop of water bottle from Mama Godfrey. I love it. And the cool thing about it is you can, if, if you look through this side of it, Everything on the other side of it looks bigger. Ah. And, this, and this is how I could hold it if I wanted to. Wow! There they go. Many evenings, True Love and I, we sit on the couches and just watch the boys bike around the house. And they love it. They love it. And I just want to comment on simplicity and keeping life simple. They're not even in school yet. I can't, you know, we're, we're kind of bracing ourselves for that leap into uh, the academic world and therefore the extracurricular world. But we are huge proponents of keeping life simple and not having too many activities outside of the home. Because the home is where the heart is, as the saying goes. But the home is where you form your children and where you uh, give them love, but like in a really tender, caring way and when you're you know driving across the city to a basketball practice or you know going downtown to the orchestra to drop your kid off at music lessons like those are good things but it does take away from time in these four simple walls here in Denver so um anyway I think as a society we could continue to reflect on how can we spend more time together? Meaning your family, because the family is everything. Like, I love my friends, friends are awesome, um, in different areas of life, the running world, the parish life, the, um, well, it's really those two. Um, those are like, well, the YouTube world, I love you guys, I wish I could travel to see you, but at the end of the day, this, <laughs> what you're witnessing behind me, is what is most important. Capiche? I could go on and on, I'll stop there. So, pedal on, folks, even inside your house. Go, go, go. Good night to you.
you too. Good night, they say good night. We love you all. And thank you again for subscribing for the new people, the new, especially the new 20-ish. I think we're around 20-ish uh, since 500. And it's like, I don't know you, but I love you. You know, it's like, I wish I knew you. If, if you see this and you know, okay, I definitely subscribed in like the last couple weeks, drop a comment below. I'd love it. I would love it. And just say, hey, I'm new and I'm here to say hello. And I'll say hello back and we'll get to know each other. So, seek beauty, work hard, love each other. Just doing this all night.